So iOS 14 just came out a few days ago, and so far, it's looking like this is not a very stable update. Lots of bugs and issues, and Apple is already working on an update to get out as quickly as they can. So now, if you're stuck with a buggy phone that is driving you insane, there are two options that you can take, right? Um, one of them is to restore the phone, just kind of wash everything out and do it right from the phone. Or number two, you can do a fresh restore, a completely brand new install of iOS. And this is what I'm going to show you guys today. Now, uh, there are two things you can do at this moment. Uh, you could downgrade down to 13.7. Uh, this won't be allowed for long. Apple doesn't sign old softwares for too long. So even by the time maybe this video goes up, that won't be an option. But if it's available, that is something you could do. Just be warned that you will lose your backup if you have your an iOS 14 backup that will not restore to iOS 13. So um, beware of that. That's not really the best option. But well, the other thing you could do is install a fresh copy of iOS 14 from your computer, brand new everything, and then you know just set it up as new or restore from a backup at that point. But you can figure out there. But a fresh install does a lot of wonders for phones and I've done it many times in the past. So what you should do is first things first, um, I'm gonna show you what you need to do for this. All you need really is a cable, you need your phone and you need a computer. It could be a Mac or Windows, doesn't really matter. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is hop on to a website called ipsw.me, M-E, um, and what this will do is it'll let you download the softwares for all the Apple products. So what I'm gonna do is go here to iPhone. This is an iPhone 8 Plus, so I'm gonna go find my version of it, iPhone 8 Plus, GSM. And you guys can see right now while I'm filming this, iOS 14.0 and 13.7 are both signed, which means you can install these via iTunes and there would be no issues. Uh, unsigned IPSWs cannot be installed. So um, if this 13.7 is no longer there, that means you can't install it. Don't even try, it won't work. So um, what I'm gonna do is download iOS 14 now. Uh, just click on it and then hit download and it should start downloading. Um, now, since I've already downloaded this, I'm not gonna re-download it, but I already have it downloaded uh, to my computer. So the IPSW file is in my downloads folders. So now that you've got the IPSW file ready to go, what you can do is jump over to your phone and there's, uh, you can one directly connect it to your computer and you'll be good to go, nothing else to do from there. But if you wanna do it the best way, I think the right way to do is, is put the phone in recovery or DFW mode, most preferably DFW mode and DFU mode, I'm sorry, not DFW, so stupid, DFU mode. And what you can do is from there, restore your phone. Now, it's very simple to put your phone into these modes. So let me just give you a quick tutorial. Connect your phone to your computer first off. All right, make sure it's connected and make sure that it actually shows up on your computer after you connect it as well. That's an important step. Uh, now that I've got the phone connected, let's make sure that it shows up on my computer. And yes, it does. It's boom right there. So now to go into restore mode, it's not that complicated. Volume up, volume down, and just keep holding the power button. Just keep holding it until I say so. Just keep looking at the screen and you'll know when you should release it because you'll get a screen that says restore mode. And right now, the uh, the phone just disappeared off my computer and it's rebooting. Just keep holding the power button, don't let it go. Uh, you know, even when the Apple logo comes on, just keep holding it down and it'll automatically go into your restore mode. So give it a couple of seconds and boom, restore mode. That's what it looks like, uh, very simple. You can do it from there. Uh, let me just show you right here on the computer, this is the screen you're gonna get. And you can update your phone from here or restore from here. Uh, I'll show you the next step after I give you a demo of DFW mode. So now say you've gotten into the restore mode and you're stuck here. Don't worry, it's not that complicated to get out. It's almost the same steps. Uh, volume up, volume down, and just keep holding the power button until the phone restarts and you'll be good to go. So uh, I'm just gonna hold this down and there you go, boom. And we should see the Apple logo pretty quickly there now. And boom. All right, so I'm gonna let this boot up and then I'll show you guys what DFU mode is and how to get into that. All right, so that my now that my phone's booted, again, uh, go into the phone, unlock the phone, open it up, and then make sure that, go to your computer, hop onto it, and make sure you can see the phone in your on your computer. So right now you can clearly see that it's on my screen here. So now let's get into DFU mode. So this is a little bit more complicated than recovery mode. Uh, if you mess it up, just turn your phone back on, connect it, and retry again. It's not the biggest deal. So what you want to do is volume up, volume down, and hold the side button down. Same first three steps, but now is when the changes will come. Once the screen goes back, black, what you're going to want to do is hold down the power button. I'm sorry, the volume down button with the power button. Keep holding that for about five seconds and then let the power button go. And now just keep holding down the volume down button. And 
Okay, so there I messed up. So what you have to be very careful, you have to count down uh, those seconds properly. Otherwise, you're just going to restart the phone and that's not what you want. So what I'm going to do is redo the step just to show you guys. I'm glad this actually went wrong so I can show you guys it goes wrong a lot of times. Don't worry about it. It's not the biggest deal. So right now what we're going to do again, volume up, volume down. I'm going to hold the side button until my iPhone screen turns black. And once it does, I'm going to let go of the power button and then we're going to hit the power and volume button down together for one, two, three, four, five and now let go of the power button and just hold down the volume button this should do it hopefully and we'll know in five seconds there we go boom so screen is black but i do have uh the screen right here on itunes on my computer right here and so now you can see in recovery mode you could do an update but here the only thing you can do is a restore so here we go here's this re restore mode screen all you want to do is if you're on a windows computer hit shift if you're on a Mac, hit option and then click on restore iPhone. What this does is it takes you into the folder uh, onto your computer and lets you find the IPSW you downloaded. So if you don't hit shift or option, what it will do is it'll just download it directly from the internet, which is fine, not, not a big deal, but it's preferably better just to have it downloaded beforehand so that you can quickly install it instead of waiting on it to download from Apple servers, which have been known to take time sometimes. So right now it just says my Mac will erase and restore my iOS. Uh, to iOS 14 and it will verify the restore with Apple. This is the step where I want to remind you guys again, remember to have backups of everything. Save backups, save it to iCloud, save it to your computer, anywhere and everywhere. Save a backup somewhere at least so that you don't lose all your data. But if you don't care about your data and everything's in the cloud, you're good to go. So boom, I hit restore and we should be on our way. We'll see an Apple logo very shortly on the uh, phone and it'll take about it can take somewhere from anywhere from five to 10 minutes in my experience. So we're just gonna wait it out, watch the screen here, and hopefully within a couple of minutes, I'll have a brand new fresh install of iOS 14 on my iPhone. And there we go. Finally, we are done. So the process took about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Not the biggest deal, but uh, there we go. I can go ahead and now install iOS 14, just go through the setup and all. Uh, not gonna do that now, but uh, we are done. So that's it, that's all the processes. And now it should be a lot smoother, hopefully for you guys. So uh, that's it for this one, guys. If you have any questions about this install process or you want anything, uh, any links, I have the link to IPSWME in the uh, description below as well and it should be pretty simple uh, if you do have any questions as i said be sure to ask them down in the comments below and if you haven't already be sure to follow me on social media i'll have all the handles right here and in the description as well thank you so much for watching guys i'll catch you in the next one